Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup decluttering slash makeup collection video. This one's definitely more of like a more minimalist makeup collection than my last one where I was actually going through and getting rid of things. Um, this is more just like an update on where I'm at in that process. I didn't think that much had changed since I did that like initial clean out if you will. Um, but I stumbled upon the video the other day and I was seriously appalled at how much stuff I still had. A lot of the comments on that video were saying like you didn't really get rid of anything or this isn't actually like a minimalist makeup collection. And I agree. Like, I don't think I'll ever own like a truly minimalist makeup collection where it's like two or three products only. If you were subscribed to anybody in the beauty community back in the day, like 2013 maybe, everybody and their mother had this Alex Dior system filled to the brand with like NYX and EOS and stuff like that. So for me, going from a system like that to this little like four drawer system that I created seemed like a really big change, um, but maybe I didn't illustrate that enough. Slash, there were a lot of products that I just needed to use up. There was nothing wrong with them and I just needed to use them up so that I could get rid of them and kind of downsize my collection further, which is exactly what I did. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated makeup collection that's a little bit more minimal than last time. There's definitely still room for me to cut back, but I thought it was really cool to see the progress that I thought I'd made last time compared to the progress that I've made now. I absolutely love watching these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into it. I can't remember if I did a general overview last time of what my little makeup area looks like. So I just have this desk from Target that I've kind of always had and my makeup collection is kind of over here on the right and then over here on the left I just have a mirror from TJ Maxx and then a souvenir from London and New York. Pretty minimal um, but I like how much room it gives me and just how clean it looks when everything's put away and in its place. So just like last time, I'm gonna start off with my makeup brushes. So on the left here, I have my face brushes, and the right, I have my eye brushes. I could definitely cut back on some of these, but honestly, just because it takes up the same amount of space to have 10 brushes in here as it would to have two, I just, I don't know, I guess I just don't go through them as much as I should. So this is something I can definitely work on cutting back in the future. I'd also like to get a little bit nicer of storage for these. I've just been keeping my brushes in this little NYX brush roll for the last couple years. Um, so if you guys have any like cute makeup brush holder ideas, definitely comment down below. And if you guys were curious, I'd say the majority of my brushes, especially the eye brushes, are Sigma, and the majority of my face brushes at this point are IT Cosmetics or NYX. I think brushes are some of the best things to invest in with makeup. I bought this Sigma pack when I was in like eighth grade or something like that, and all the brushes have held up so well quickly doing an overview of my collection. It's the same setup as last time, and again, I'm looking to change this up a bit. It's this kind of bigger drawer on top, and then this three drawer system from Amazon. So this first container just holds everything that basically doesn't fit in the three drawer system. So I have some Urban Decay palettes and this Lorac palette. In my last collection, I think I had five eyeshadow palettes, so I definitely cut back. This one's new since that video, um, but I did get rid of some of the other ones that were featured in the original video. And then I just have some random essentials like my Urban Decay setting spray, a setting powder, and hand sanitizer. I think this is overall pretty well cut back. I don't wear eyeshadow as much as I used to, but I like having the option to wear it. And I think the palettes that I have are wearable and things that I would naturally kind of gravitate to if I want to. My Urban Decay setting spray I use every single day. This setting powder I'm honestly not the biggest fan of. Um, I bought a two pack a year or two ago. It's a fine powder. I just don't use setting powder as much as I used to. So this is something that once I use it up, I won't repurchase it. Um, but for now, it's not expired, there's nothing wrong with it, so I might as well use it up rather than let it go to waste. And then hand sanitizer is always a staple in my collection just to clean my hands before doing anything. Jumping into this face drawer. This drawer has seen a major glow up since the last video. As you can see, it's a lot less cluttered and it's just things that I genuinely use on a day-to-day -day basis or at least a few times a week. So I have my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, my Wet n Wild Foundation, this little Glossier highlight stick, and then I have a blush from Tarte, a highlight from Tarte, bronzer from Too Faced, I have one more foundation from Bare Minerals, and then my Becca highlight. I'm really happy with the progress of this drawer, especially compared to the last video. I know you could still argue that I only need one highlighter or one foundation or whatever that may be, but I do genuinely use all of these products, so I don't really feel a need to cut back at this point. Moving on to the eye drawer. 
This drawer is in a much better place than it was, but it definitely could be further decluttered, especially some of these eyeshadows. Once I use them up, I won't be repurchasing them. These two shadows in the front from Jouer are definitely my most used ones. I use them on my lash line a lot. Then I have two Urban Decay ones behind it, one from Essence that I do get a good amount of wear out of as well. I've actually gotten pretty good use out of this brow powder for just general contouring and filling in my brows when I want a little bit of a softer look. I have a pair of tweezers, an eyebrow scissors, an eyeshadow primer, and then a mascara, a couple eyeliners here. I have a purple, brown, and black, and then a brow pencil and a brow gel. So pretty minimal, I think, but definitely could be cut back more, like I said, especially in the eyeshadows. Then lastly, we have the lip drawer. This drawer especially has really seen a glow up on the minimalism front. So I just have two lipsticks from Bare Minerals, a lip pencil, some liquid lips, and a kind of chubby stick from Tarte, and then some Glossier products. These are definitely the ones that I gravitate to the most. This cloud paint is also made for your cheeks, but just because of the texture of my skin right now, I'm not the biggest fan of it on me. This is definitely my most used product. I have these kind of scattered throughout my home. If I had to cut this back even further and only keep three things, I would keep this, this, and this Tarte liquid lip when everything is all together, this is what we're working with. So again, there's definitely room to cut back, but I'm happy with the progress that I've made over the last couple of years. That is everything for today's updated makeup decluttering, minimalist makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you guys probably know, I'm about to move into a new apartment and I think I'm gonna mix up the storage, maybe get like one of those little vanity things from like the container store or something like that. So if you guys want a further updated minimalist makeup collection, please let me know. Um, um, all my social media will be linked in the down bar per usual. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.